All right, guys, welcome back. We got another breakdown coming. Robert Whitaker looked phenomenal, as to be expected. Um, I think Askelarov just a little bit too much too soon. Still one of the toughest guys in that division, in my personal opinion. And um, I think he will be back for sure. But this night was belonging to Robert Whitaker in a very big way. And now I have even more questions on how Whitaker versus Hamza Chemaev would have went. But we're gonna get into this KO and a couple of other things that Whitaker did really well in this fight. And I'm gonna give you guys the goods. So let's not waste any time and let's get into it. This is one of the things that Whitaker does really, really well. It's when he's bouncing, he's super light on his toes so he could get in and out, just making him very mobile. See how he just evades that kick? Very, very little effort, didn't take much. Just a nice little step back and nice and easy. And he's still in a position to attack, to spring back and counter. And I think that's one of the things that makes him very, very dangerous because he's such a light fighter for 185. He can get in and out on the action at almost any given time. Watch here, look at this fake that Whitaker uses. Hard faint. This hard faint right here and gets a big reaction from Alaskarov. Let's look at that again, how he steps in. And he could have thrown, he could have attacked, but he chose not to. But just to get the reactive time, overloading that nervous system, GSP talked about this a lot. You have to, you have to overload the nervous system and make him react and use up a lot of energy consumption. I think I did okay. Hard faint, boom. That faint right there gets a big reaction. Now, when you get that reaction, you start to tense up and you're like, huh, because you think something's about to happen and you wanna brace yourself. So imagine someone faking at you a thousand times, or let's just say a hundred, cause that's a lot. A thousand is, that's insanity, but a hundred times. You can start to uh, bite down, overreact, start throwing stuff and feigning and pulling and then it's, you're doing too much and then you're constantly reacting versus being the one who's right here. Beautiful jab coming from Whitaker and watch how he gets his head off the center line. Right here, head off the center line, eyes wide open, comes with the jab. Now this part, as you see Alaskarov, he's gonna step forward right into the danger zone, which puts him on one foot. Guys, he's on one leg right now. One leg, and that's dangerous to put yourself in that situation, especially in front of a guy as heavy hitting as Robert Whitaker. He might not be the biggest guy, but he knows how to sit into his punches, sit into his kicks, and really crack. So with that said, watch how he steps in, and then eventually he gets hit by Whitaker because he walked into the line of fire right here. And it just puts him a little bit too much out of position trying to throw a kick when he's already out of position. So we'll go back and look at that again. Beautiful jab. Alaskarov switches stance and he tries to walk forward with the kick, but right here Whitaker times it, keeps this hand down. Now guys, this sequence right here is where I feel like Robert Whitaker was able to get his read, get his tell to land that right hand over the top, which is what ultimately caused the end of this fight. Now watch here, we'll go through the sequence. He gets a read off of that. Look where his hand is right here. Look at this space. Whitaker eyeing that down. Now watch, he looks, he's reading, he's dipping the shoulder, dipping the shoulder, faint. Now look what he's doing, that left hand comes out on this side, now this right hand's coming right over the top and that cracks Alaskarov. As we see what we know, the patented chicken dance that a lot of people do once the equilibrium gets off balance. Comes with a hard jab. And I, I like what he did the little, the little shift in the weight. He hits him with the hard jab here. 
Boom, everyone could see that. Now watch what he does with his feet, right here. Watch this shuffle step that he does. That little sprint dash, and then he comes back and shuffles inside with that left hand, right to the chin. He tries to use his patented combination where he always comes with the same side. So he went with the left hand, he came with the right, and he tried to come over the top with the kick. The kick, I don't even know if he was already hurt while he fell, because he's already fallen. I mean, we could take a look at that again. The jab, the right hand follows. And then, of course, we're gonna see this left, this right kick. He throws a punch, and it's almost like, like he's falling off balance. The kick just helps pull him forward. He touches the ground, and this reminds me exactly like the Hamza finish, which was his last loss. And I'm not saying it's a coincidence, but there might be something to the vulnerability here with the uppercut. I could be just making something completely up that is absolute BS but there's something to look at because if you get caught with it twice like that and both of those put you down this badly and i'm not saying they're not monster shots but it's something to consider for future opponents and something for alaskarov to think about for himself in the future as well for his opponents so with that said watch how this uppercut lands and the way he sets it up it winds look at it look at him he's already loading it up he's already loading up one with the jab obviously we all saw the jab and then bink with the hands up he just completely splits the shell and that is pretty much it now i mean i don't know if he was coming back from that i, I don't think that was a terrible stoppage by any means if, if anything i think mark goddard actually did a really good job here um give credit where it's due and then Robert Whitaker beating himself up more than the actual fight by pounding his chest. Watch it. Here he goes again. Here he goes again. Watch this. Look at this guy. Hey, Habibi. They're going to find you, Habibi. You celebrated. And I don't know. They're going to find this man. All right, I hope I'm not getting you in trouble, but they're going to find this man. <laughs> He go for the wrong guy, brother. Brother. All right. So with that said, that is what I liked about Robert Whitaker in this fight. The composure of everything that he did. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Let's go.